It's the season for giving thanks, and the Polo Reef team set out for Frags Giving in Boston with the Boston Reefing Society. The event was packed with some great vendors, coral, and company. But this event, it was extra special. This year, the Boston Reefing Society decided to give back and created the Joseph A. Venuti Jr. Marine Science and Conservation Scholarship. Staying true to Polo Reef's mission of supporting marine education, Andrew jumped at the chance to get involved. With over 414 applicants, two scholarships were awarded, and one participant they were lucky enough to join Polo Reef and the Boston Reefing Society for Frags Giving. So at Polo Reef, one of our main missions, probably the main mission, is to uh, support programs in schools, uh, have kids over, uh, give away scholarships like this for excellence. And I guess we're of the belief that the oceans have to be healthy for this hobby to be healthy. So I give you the recipient of this year's award, Erica Cabell. Congratulations. With Erica in attendance, she was given the stage and the unique opportunity to present her work to everyone. She's working really hard to complete her studies, and this scholarship will help her achieve her goals and maybe one day help the health of the coral reefs. But today wasn't all about the presentation and working. She also had a chance to enjoy herself and meet some fellow hobbyists. All that you're in the public hall, there is signage in the side door, and there are arrows pointing to the B building. Thank you. Mark will be giving his talk. The team also had a great time at the event. They were able to meet a lot of fellow hobbyists and fans. After a long, entertaining day at Frags Giving, it was time to head home. After traveling to Boston, Andrew opened his home for the scholarship winner to come visit Polo Reef. So, are you excited? Yeah, I'm super excited. Yeah, what are you looking forward to the most? Well, I feel like ever since you said that you can scuba dive into the tank, I just want to, like, I, I don't think I have any conception of, like, how big it is. I feel like it's going to be really colorful, you know, and I just want to see what kinds of corals you guys have and, like, what kinds of fish you guys have. Also, I feel like, yeah, it's just going to be different from what I, you know, what I see in my day-to-day -day life. Once they arrived at Polo Reef, Erica was immediately wow. surprised. And it turns out, Erica loves dogs. Hi, baby. And there's Phoebe. This is pretty much Andrew's daughter. Oh, yeah? Oh, you're so cute, sweetie. Yes. Hi. 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 Okay, thank you. I love her diaper and her little pig tails. You're so cute. I love you. Hi. Hi. How are you? How was your weekend? Good. Yes, you made it here good? Yeah. When did you, yeah. you took a flight here this morning? Yeah, we when I flew yes yesterday. yesterday. Yeah, and yesterday. And the hotel's nice? Yeah, super nice. Great. Thank you so much. Glad to have you. Yeah, thank you for inviting me. This is awesome. Yeah, we have some fish tanks. Yeah. And for you things for you to see. <laughs> We're you have really such a beautiful forward to uh, having you. Beautiful space and beautiful dogs. Oh yeah, she's my real puppy. Oh they're so cute. Oh, no. Um, but yeah, this is gorgeous. Thank you. That looks crazy. After they settled in, Andrew wanted to chat with Erica a bit about her research. Another congratulations on the scholarship. Thank you so Was much. Was proud to present that to you at Boston. Um, why don't you just give us a quick synopsis of what you presented at Boston and and what and what your project is? Sure. So for yeah, first thank you so much for you know the opportunity. It's a pleasure. Um, you know, I'm so grateful to be wait here. Till, wait till we go in the lab and play with the fishies and all the experiments and, and I show you my koi. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that sounds awesome. Um, but so for my research, I'm studying, so as you know, um, coral reefs occupy less than 0.1% of the right. global ocean floor, right. but uh, support 25% of all marine right. life. And they're one of the most um, threatened ecosystems in the world. Um, but I'm studying a soft coral, Hawaiian endemic soft coral, that seems to resist thermal bleaching, and it's even increased in abundance after freshwater flooding events. And it's those things can handle nuclear uh, bombs, I think. Yeah, exactly. They're super, uh, yeah. super resistant. It yeah. seems like. Yeah. And so I'm trying to understand why they they're resistant and how they're I, able to I be successful. It. 
when you are when you do study these are you, are you going underwater are you scuba diving are, are you you keep them in a tank where are you studying them physically so for um a while i was doing a lot of snorkeling going underwater and just studying them in their natural environment and then i uh spent a lot of time keeping them at a tank at home to kind of observe them more closely what were you doing at home yeah in I, a tank i do thermal stress so i put those uh those submersible heaters in there yeah. and i stress them out to 32 degrees and they survived that they do. So actually the- do they bleach at all and not, or any change the color? The blue ones seem to be bleaching um, when I did it, but the brown ones did not bleach. Right. That's interesting. Yeah. All right. That's really great and uh, happy to have you. And we'll, we'll, I want to show you all the stuff in the back. Sure. Thank you so much. It was time for the world famous Polo Reef Tour. So here we are. That's amazing. 10 years of, our, of, of work. Do you have a favorite fish? Anything from Hawaii, I can't get anymore. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Patty was telling me that you, you keep Indo-Pacific fish. Yeah, that that's correct? all. There's no, there's no okay. Atlantic Ocean fish in here. Wow. A little bit of everything. Yeah. And any algae? Like macroalgae or is that too? Not here. Yeah. We have a, a one little macroalgae tank in the back. It's tiny. Gotcha. Here's another view of this tank. Oh, wow. Yeah, it looks awesome. If you want. I take a hot ride up. Oh yeah. See it on the top. <laughs> Most people are blown away by the 17,000 gallon tank and don't really realize there's much more to Polo Reef than meets the eye. They headed into the lab to look at the back end of Polo Reef. Wow. So, watch your step. Clams? This tank, uh, we're running a cl clam experiment uh, on dips, antibiotics, trying to figure out wh what kills them. Because uh, a lot of times they just wow. go quickly. Uh, this tank seems to be pretty successful. Other tanks not. It, it's we have a, an antibiotic bath and a, and a parasitic bath. We're not sure yet of the dosages or if they're working or anything really. But we are doing them. That's awesome. Erica was blown away by the amount of beauty that surrounded her at Polo Reef. She was taken back by the colors and the amount of different coral Andrew has. Even though she's surrounded by beautiful coral in Hawaii, she was still stunned at what she was seeing. She couldn't believe the amount of work and equipment involved in taking care of so many tanks. This is uh, Erica, Jonathan, and Joe. They're working on uh, the plumbing for the 2500 upstairs. Oh, wow, okay. That's what this skimmer is. And then the other two are the big system. And then there's really cold water, deep water ampius in this system. Oh, wow. It's like a mesophotic thing or? 68 degrees, katamaya, they're cold. Wow. We're going to have a cold water tank. That's cool. Are you going to get cold water corals? I'm going to try. Wow. Patty took Erica on a tour of the sub-basement where a lot of the magic happens. Down in the sub-basement, Patty showed Erica a lot of the equipment, including some of the holding tanks, the sumps for the 17,000 gallon, a little bit of the plumbing and how the water flows. And of course, she showed her the computer that helps run everything safely and smoothly at Polo Reef. After touring the sub basement, it was time to head back upstairs. Polo Reef and the team had one last surprise for Erica, so they met up with Yeltsin. We're about to feed the fish in the 17K tank. Very exciting. You can't visit Polo Reef without feeding the fish. Erica, with the help of Yeltsin, had a chance to start the feeding frenzy. It turns out Erica also loves koi fish, so Andrew took her out to the pond to check out some of the beauties. Andrew showed Erica the top pond first. This pond is newly renovated, and we're hoping one day to bring some of the champions home. After checking out the new pond, they went into the tent so they can go check out some of the beautiful koi fish that Andrew has. I'm gonna just stare. Get him watch. A little, little more? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You're big. Guy. You're big. <laughs> right here. The koi were not shy today, and Erica had a chance to feed them. They were really hungry and active today, 
they just coming back for more and more. They let their personality shine for Erica. After the second feeding frenzy of the day, it was time to head back inside. Andrew took Erica upstairs to show her some of the projects they're working on, including the 2,500 gallon, as well as the anemone tank. This is uh, 2,500 gallons of work that's gonna get fish and coral very soon. That's awesome. And then is that the anemone tank over yep. there? This is our beginning of an anemone tank. Erica was particularly fascinated by the anemone tank and how well the clownfish have established their symbiotic relationship to the hosting anemones. It's beautiful to see. It may have been Erica's favorite part of the tour. Well, Erica, it was a pleasure having you and a well-deserved honor. Congratulations on the scholarship. Get back to that PhD stuff <laughs> and Hawaii. And I can't, we, we, we invite you back anytime. I appreciate that. Honestly, it's been, it's been amazing being here. Thank you so much for the opportunity and for inviting me and for showing me everything. I really appreciate it. Have a safe trip back and uh, don't give the professors too much, too much, too much hard <laughs> stuff to, to read. Yeah, <laughs> thank you. It was a special day at Polar Reef as Andrew had a chance to get to know one of the scholarship winners. Andrew said it best earlier, we have to take care of the ocean to enjoy this hobby. Erica is a prime example of what the future holds for our oceans. Thank you for all you do, and we can't wait to see what you accomplish. We hope all of our viewers enjoyed, and more importantly, we hope you have a wonderful Thanksgiving.